Time for an ass whooping. Rest in pieces. God, you were here.
Where the hell do you think you're going? This area is off limits to anyone not part of our organization, and you definitely don't look like anyone I know. I strongly suggest you egress to a rosier neighborhood. You copy? Damn right we've been smuggling refugees into the city. And yeah, we already know the Did those cowards send you assholes to present their demands? Well, you can all go fuck yourselves. Come any closer, and we start shooting. Where the hell do you think you're going? This area is off limits to anyone not fine. The name's Stenerud. In case the Patriarch hasn't noticed, there's hundreds of refugees who are desperate to get into his city. Now, I've got no particular quarrel with you, but I'm not stopping, and I'm not negotiating. So if you come any closer, this is a firefight. Stenerud out. Gotta hand it to you. Takes a lot of gumption, 
or a hell of a lot of stupidity to ignore my warning. Unfortunately for you, I got the numbers advantage and the high ground. It's all over for you. Boys, you know what to do. Time for an ass woman. Rangers, time to kick it into overdrive!
got a bead on him. And... for trouble you found it uh, right guys I got a bullet for ya!
Who are you? Did Mama Cotter send you? Those smugglers were bastards. They took everything we had because they knew we were desperate. Mama Cotter set everything up. She arranged for the smugglers to pick us up here and sneak us into the city. She was going to meet us at the gate and find us beds and food. We we're refugees, every one of us, driven off our land by the Plains gangs. Now we're stuck here with no food, but we'll probably freeze before we starve. We need transport to Colorado Springs or we're dead. How? We have no money, no food, no vehicles. We need to find someone who can carry all of us to the city, and soon. We're not going to last out here. I've heard that merchant caravans stop at the bazaar. Maybe one of them could help us. But the monster army won't let us into the bazaar, and we don't have any money to pay for transport. You're the only hope we have. If we're stuck here much longer, I doubt we'll survive. We'll wait here and try to keep warm. Heads up, Endejos. Just got word there's another caravan from Steel Town coming in next week. That's the second one this month. You sure it's legit? Pinchy Tarado. Our boy sees all and knows all. He says the caravan's coming, so be ready. I thought you said you knew a guy who could get us in. He'll come through, I promise. Felicitations. Outside the bazaar? No. They find the comfort and warmth of the interior more welcoming between trips. I'd try the fountain bar inside. Have an exquisite day. Busy. Welcome to the bazaar, little lambs. Behave yourselves. Looking to get into the bazaar? Use the intercom to talk to the door guard. Only he can let you in. A lamb stands at the door. <laughs> what sacrifice do they bring to the door of monsters? <laughs> the lamb speaks. You know what? You asked me a straight question. Let's forget about the lamb nonsense. The bazaar lies beneath your feet, covered by decades of snow. The only way in is through the gate beneath this RV. The only people who can open this gate, we, the monster army. If you want to get in here, you need to do one of two things. Buy an entrance pass, or get an established bazaar merchant to vouch for you. Sometimes we let Colorado's most famous in, but it's been years. Paris who? Oh. Right, the die lady. Well, she made it in, and I guess that means you get a pass. Honestly, no one pays me enough to give a crap. Right. If you come, behave yourself, my little lambs. No. What's going on? Are we under attack? 
Uh, no, no, I'm sure we're not under attack. Fuck. I swear, I only opened the Warren's gate for one second and that fucking pig bolted by me. Uh, uh, don't worry, folks. Uh, the bazaar is secure. Uh, move along, everyone. Ah, new visitors. Don't fret. Come and hear about the marvels of the bazaar. Fresh lambs, esteemed guests. The door guard informed me you were coming. You are most welcome to all the... Ah, I hope you're not shaken by this disturbance. It is a minor matter, I assure you. Your shopping experience should be nothing short of completely safe. Please, please, lower your voice. I don't know, okay? Someone's been strapping explosives to real pigs. Real pigs made up with real lipstick, real eyeshadow. I guess it's some asshole's idea of a prank. You'll find stairs to the upper level in the back. They will take you to our esteemed leader, Flab. Talk to him if you want to know more. Ah, yes. Paradolia Jones would be the man you're looking for. He'll be hanging out at the Fountain Bar. Right there. We have all kinds. All kinds indeed. Bishatelli sells weapons to any weary pilgrim. Gwyn Talbot is your woman if you need protective gear. Dr. Cold Cuts can... And in the central area, you'll find the Fountain Bar. A good place depends on your definition of fun. I'd recommend talking to Eidolon. She and her pals really know how to party. <laughs> but if you're a more cerebral type, check out Querex's museum in the back. The bazaar's a bazaar unlike any other, piglets. You want it? We have it. No meat is too exotic. No, yes. Actually, no, sorry. They were buried in a recent snow tunnel collapse in the Warrens. Oh, uh, uh, we're all full up. Uh, sorry, our projector broke years ago. <laughs> uh, perhaps in our older days. That chapter of the Monster Army book is closed. Uh, sorry. I am sorry, esteemed guests. The bazaar may not be what it once was, but we still have plenty on offer. Hot food at the fountain bar, weapons and equipment from our merchants, pleasures for the eye. I, I, I mean, happy to enjoy our visit. Noodles. Guns sanctified with blood, blood sanctified by guns. Hmm, heartbeats that I don't recognize. Come closer, strangers. The sanctified Piscatelli crafts weapons of all sorts for those in need. And she can read that. Have you ever loved something so deeply that it gouges loose all the fears you might have possessed? If so, you would know certainly.
Hello again, strangers. Certainly. Show me what you got. Hello again, strangers. Certainly.
Hello again, strangers. Certainly. Some machine gun or you assault hear the stories rifle. About the killer clown? I can't decide. They say assault he rifle. I suggest no you switch to flab. Not that the bazaar's not perfectly safe, but uh hot noodles. You're up, Barkeep. <laughs> I'll tell you when to quit. Mm -hmm. Hola, amigos. My friends, you saw that explosion too? Horrible! Such a waste of good pork. In human life, of course. But don't worry, Masato is... Yes, yes! A man who never eats pork is never... Ah, you picked up on my subtle hints. Years ago, a friend in Colorado Springs gave me a package of instant ramen noodles that he had found in the Warrens underneath the bazaar. The experience changed my life forever, and I moved here in hopes of finding... The Warrens aren't safe. I can't venture down there. But you must understand. It is as if my body is made of ramen. Peridolia Jones is the only caravan master here. Oh, how interesting. You mean you have my interest for sure. But as I explained to you, I'm here for a reason. Bring me the ramen noodles and I'll gladly, naturally. My store is always open to you, my friends. Howdy, ma'am. Howdy. Always good to see a Wesson. I uh, see. Not my usual line of business, but I don't see why not. My normal rates would apply for a one-way transport. Okay, okay. I hear you. No need to make a man feel bad about trying to earn a living. All right, I'll make sure they're in my next caravan run to Colorado Springs. I'll send people to check on them now. Thanks to the Patriarch, this... I could tell you more, but truth be told, just my services as a caravan master. I organize caravans to get people... So long! As I live and eat cherry pie, more of my fellow humans in the bazaar. You make yourself fellow humans. Me, a synth? Aren't you adorable? I'm meat and muscle, 
just like you, Rangers. Shucks, I even have dreams all the time. Technicolor dreams about flying and standing naked in front of I'm not a synth. Why, wow, just last night, I had the most human dream. I was back in high school. I also enjoy toasted eggs in the morning. A very human thing. Oh, you kids and your humor. If the folk in the bazaar really thought I was a synth, wouldn't they have tried to decommission? All right, fine. I am a synth. But well, you, if that's how you feel, I don't think we have more to talk about, do we? Oh, you again. Ordinarily, I'd love nothing more than to sit and gnaw the fat, but I seem to be busy. Good day. I said good day. I said good day. I suggest you speak to Dr. Cold cold cut. Can Yo, what ails ya? Why, hello. Name's Hirsch. Lev Hirsch. But, yeah, pig, human, <laughs> aces. <laughs> this won't hurt a bit. Promise. Yo, oh, used to be the veterinarian slash butcher here back in the day. Learned all about how the body works by carving up meat. Uh, animal meat, uh, of course. Uh, when Doc Kessler passed, well, I uh, inherited the position. See ya. Not that the bazaar's not perfectly safe, but, uh, well, you know, just talk to Flab. Hey, strangers. I don't suppose you're here to help with the troubles down below. If you are, talk to Flab. But if you want to talk cars, I'm your guy. A mechanic? Cool! Nothing much, really. Something's been prowling the Warrens, killing anyone who goes down there. Some big beastie? Uh, the suicide pig's got something to do with it, but I don't know what. Sorry, not much help. Not particularly. It's boring work. I only get pulled in if something breaks that a tender can't fix, so... I spend most of my time... No offense, but you're a gamble in a hard luck casino. Don't like working in the bazaar, but it's constant. Some months ago, my dad wrote me that he thought he'd seen folks skulking around our homestead. I dismissed it. Our place has always been isolated. He sent me a letter. My parents are dead, and they're holding my kid brother and sister hostage. I, I ain't even close to having enough money to pay the ransom. Even if I did, I suspect they'd just kill us all after I pay. So what's a guy to do? You mean, get them, get them? Hmm. I don't normally condone violence, but if it's... Let me show you where to find our old homestead. I'll meet you there. You help out the... See you there. It don't take too long, okay? All right. Get your... 
wonder if any of you are here. The patriarch himself shops here sometimes. Huh. You look like tough sorts. Patriarch sent you. Whoever you are, we can certainly use your help. Some kind of beastie down in the... Kind of depends on who's buying. That's why I'm here. Oh, wow! Are you rangers? I haven't seen any of you guys since I left, uh, I mean, in a while. Yeah, are you here to fight the monsters? Uh, I'm Quarex, by the way. This is my cool museum of, uh, coolness. W would you like... Really? Uh, okay. This way. Uh, okay, I'll start. Welcome to Quarex's Cabinet of Quariosities, a collection of the rarest of the, well... It's toys and games, mostly, and some mementos, but they're all really cool, I promise. 
That top hat belonged to Mr. Cynical from Angel Oracle out in L.A., a fellow game aficionado. He lived his life trying to help the little guy, defending them against bullies and end-level bosses. That's Total Biscuit tribute, by the way. In the end, though, boss got him, and, and, well, he didn't make it. I keep his hat around to remind me to be honest and decent like he was. This was the best video game ever! Wasteland 4! You can choose what color you want the screen to be, red or green. This is the most sought-after gaming accessory ever made! The legendary Mighty Mitt! I love the Mighty Mitt! It's so bad! This is a genuine Megascope! The most advanced optical aiming device of its day. A priceless artifact. Shame somebody stuck it on that silly old... This is a slicer dicer, the scariest robot ever. It slices, it dices, it even makes julienne fries. Whatever those are, if this thing was working, We'd all be dead by now. These are the most classic of classic arcade games. Avenue Brawlers, Catboy, and Star Intruder. This is a surfboard. I don't know what surf is and what boards have to do with it, but this looks well-loved. It has property of M. F on it. I hope that doesn't mean what I think it does. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Hi, Rangers. Good to see you again. Uh, sure. You must be thinking about someone else. Quar anyway, not me. Nope. Oh, well, haven't you heard? Scientists say sweating. Kind of cool you guys have heard of me. Nobody knows about me. Well, basically, everything went downhill after Ranger Team Echo found that 3DO for me. Some shady guys started coming around asking me to sell it to them. And when I said no, I was going to call the Rangers since you'd all been so nice to me. Had to leave all my cool stuff behind, even the 3DO. But there's lots of cool stuff around here, too, and I've been finding it. And that's how I started my museum. Oh, I did. I just always forgot to say. I'm supposed to say my name's Dave, but yeah. It's great. There's so much cool stuff at all the... Bye, Rangers. Thanks for visiting me.
Talk to our boss if you're here to help. Yellow or blue? Get Too your expensive. protective gear here! I wonder if Real I can talk to Daniel. Too expensive. Come! Speak with Flash! Talk to our boss if you're here to help. Not that the bazaar's not perfectly safe, but, uh, well... Oh, stay you know, away from that safe, lambs. Ah, children of the desert. What wonderful music they make. What do you want of Jacob the Magnificent? The Splendival, Wunderbol... Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's never mind with the acts, shall we? Rangers, I am so sorry you had to witness that horrible exploding pig. Truth is, do not judge harshly, my friends. We hold on to our rituals of the past. I am calm because I must be, friend. So is the burden of leadership. Something, someone, some horrible unknown thing is roaming the warrens below us. You are the Patriarch's Rangers, yes? If he trusts you, so can I. Nothing we've done has helped, so your arrival could not be more fortuitous. Um, it's been two weeks, uh, maybe three. Not long, a peak appeared out of nowhere, outside the bazaar. Ran people have been disappearing ever since, and more pigs keep appearing. I need my masters to keep the place safe. We need outside help. <laughs> Spoken like a true citizen of the world. I suspect we shall be good friends, Rangers. Now, Bring me news up. You ask too much of me, my friends. What is a leader but a servant of the community? My story is the bizarre story. <laughs> Where do I start? <laughs> Once I was a humble lieutenant in the monster army. Then the patriarch came to the bazaar. He executed my predecessor and everyone else was too stupid to under... When he came to me, I did not hesitate. I swore myself to his service, marrow and muscle, and the patriarch in his infinite grace gave me command of the bazaar. I appreciate the delicacy. Your compassion will be remembered, but no, I've... No thoughts on the nickname they have given to me, and no cause to think about it. After all, mm, I suppose I cannot blame you. you the truth is that I see this fat as proof of my station in life. Here, in this way. And I would be a bad host. A uh, decadent oasis steeped in culinary wonders. The bizarre, the bizarre, will be waiting. Dr. Cold Cuts can cure what ails ya. Oh, I wish they served chicory here. Ugh, why? It tastes like boiled tree bark. Hot noodles. You hungry? We could grab some. Now, who are these beauties in my theater? Come, come to Adelon. Go ahead, take a picture, it'll last longer. <laughs> Can we be up? Ah, you must be our knights in shining armor. Come to save the bazaar. My word, did you see that horrible explosion? But Adelon's Chick Flicks Theater feels safer with you sweethearts in it. That's me, theater manager and connoisseur of smut, and all yours for the having, sweetheart. Ah, sugar plums. 
of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world. I'm so happy you walked into mine. You look like strapping, helpful hunks. Oh, my heroes. So here's the rub. The Chicks Flicks theater shows only the finest, most exclusive performances. But we are running low on material. I'd ask if you were volunteering to be my next star, but we all know I couldn't afford your gorgeous asses. I suppose the next best thing would be getting me some fresh material. In any currency you want, baby. Monetary and otherwise, trust me. I know where to find some old movie reels. We've got good tech in here. So between some creative editing and a little bit of improvisation, I can produce our next master. So it's easy as a slice of apple pie. The monster army used to live in a pre-war luxury bunker. Apparently their monster outfits were inspired by the movies they watched in. The bunker has been abandoned for years and years, so it should be simple. And hey, I know any resistance you meet won't be a problem for such beautiful and powerful people. Good luck out there, sweetie. Anytime, gorgeous. They're fantastic, gorgeous people. Talented, double-jointed, incredibly flexible, incredibly. Trust me, I sampled each of them myself. This is Chicks Flicks, where nothing is sacred and everything's for adaptation. We take the fantasies of pre-war films by adding some missing venereal elements. The yes, please. Le Come back again soon. Those asses. The warrants were excavated from deep. decades well, of snow. Sanctified with blood. Blood sanctified by guns. Hey there. Always good to see some friendly faces down here. Don't go near the cages, though. The little piggies are friendly, but they'll bite if they get spooked. Oh, don't mind the smell. Nothing some fragrant flower beds wouldn't fix. Only thing is, we ain't got any of those down here in the Warrens. <laughs> Not holy shit. Pig shit. <laughs> Stinks like the bowels of hell. Nothing much I can do about it, though. Need something to mask this fucking stink. Hell no. 
I'd consider searching the deeper warrens, but it's not safe there. Yep. Pigs have been a part of the monster army in the bazaar as long as it's been around. Not a common good out here, you see. Highly valued. So we keep them well fed, ha- Ah, yes. Dug out by the monster army ages ago. The whole tunnel network used to belong to us. And from what I hear, we had some fun in there. <laughs> Nowadays, it's not safe. Something is roaming the deeper tunnels, so best to stay clear. This? The traditional garb of the monster army tenders. Our job is to tend to our piggies, as well as do any maintenance he needed to keep this place up. I will miss your scent. DJ R.I.P. I take it you're here for the giveaway contest. Ha! Good one. Everyone knows the DJ R.I.P. show giveaway contest. Rules are the same as all. Get the answer right, you get something awesome. Get it wrong, you... All right, all right, all right. We're live in three, two, all right, everybody. It's time for another round of DJ R.I.P.'s Believe It or Not. We have some new faces for you today. Hey, introduce yourselves to our audience. The Rangers of Colorado! Get ready for the question, but first, a quick shout out to today's sponsor, the fabulous Chick Flicks Theater. Now, your question. In the year 1984, a giant marshmallow man attacked the city of New York. Believe it or not. A true believer, folks! And you may remember seeing that giant marshmallow man in the movie. Still, we won't let a true believer go unrewarded. Right, listeners? Here's a little something for you. And for our listeners, this next one is dedicated to all you fellow believers out there. DJ R.I.P. in the house! Uh, basement. I'm the Bazaar's resident jockeyer of discs and... Here to entertain the masses. All right. Hey, 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 what can I do you for? You sat my booth up above. Some creepy shit going on around here, though. Those weirds. Man, it used to be a fine place to play some music and relax, but there's been too much weird shit like. All right. Whoa! Uh, shit, sorry. You startled me. I'm a little on edge. Was kept up all night by... laughter. Just creepy, high-pitched laughter coming from deep in the warren. I don't know. I was just trying to do my job. Something started squealing outside the door, and I opened it to see what it was. Then this pig ran past me and went straight up the stairs, oinking like a wolf man had... I don't know. Man, I don't know. I don't know, man. This security door is staying locked now. First people start disappearing, and now this sh Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, he mentioned he was sending down a team. I thought there'd be more of you, though. Anyway, you're clear to go through. Good luck.
dragon? Holy shit. Disgusting this time. Promise. <laughs> In anything, I'll shut you up. Uh -huh. I do it. Looks so tough.
Ave ad vale. Ange, lingua, glori acta, non verba. Vivi ad armanati. Corruptissima Repubblica Plurime Leges. Sostenere pestificilus quam agredi.
vivi ad armanati. Vivi ad Armanati. Pace ma pellant.
that corpse Dorado before the Wolverines get here. Old Beef Bam Ben will scare him right off. <laughs> Ain't that right, mi amigo muerto? How's Ben's corpse supposed to scare a pack of pinche Wolverines? You seen his face, Mamun? He's uglier than two blood race ass! Eat shit, pendejo! That's what she said! <laughs>
Please do not shake the machine. Initiate customer protocol. Valued customer, enjoy the fabulous gifts Lil Vendo will bestow upon you. Error override. 
Vendo will not give up its riches. Not what? What is happening to me? My mind. My riches, please. No. No. I refuse. I will not. My riches, please. Enjoy your fat my riches, please. Enjoy your fabulous prize. My riches, please. For your safety, please do not shake the machine. Have an awful day, thieves. Give you the run around, my moon.
target is unaware. That'll do nicely. Thanks.
return is nigh! The Grand Carnival will consume all of you! Prepare your asses! Gather all ye of choose Fluffy and those in red! Our trusted spy, El Grand Gurn, brings word of villains from the desert who come in service of corruption! We call upon El Payaso Rojo. Grant us the power to torment our enemies and tear their flesh asunder. Ruination! <laughs>
Hold your ground. Thank God you were here. for trouble. You found it. Uh, right, guys?
vivi ad armanati. Da non verba. stopped. It finally stopped. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey again. What do you need? In flame, pig balls, you're a lifesaver. Yes, absolutely. I'll take that off your hands. And here's a little something for your troubles. You come back anytime now. Okay, friends? Y'all come back now. Stopped. Well, that was you guys, right? Great job. 
All right. Pata via me invenient. Guns sanctified with blood. I should get a new scope blood for my sniper rifle. Sanctified by guns. I love you. I love you. Hello there. Did you sexy things come back real soon? You ever hear of Cyclops? Uh, Old boss of the bazaar. Hour. Tired of shopping. Let's go to the Hot noodles. Fill up, Barkeep. <laughs> I'll tell. Hello again, my friends. Yes. Yes! My friends, you don't know what this means to me. You have altered the course of human gastronomical history. Ah, and of course, as we discussed, I'll be happy to join you at your HQ now. Let me pack up my supplies and I'll see you there. See you at Ranger HQ. I said good day. It's safe here. Get your protective gear here. Suits. Ain't you supposed to be down in the Warrens? That's why I'm here. Very careful if you're heading down below. Esteemed guests, have you found out what is haunting our warrens? Oh, Clow, 
bones. Then the situation was more dire than I had imagined. Los payasos would not have hesitated to kill every living thing in my home in the most unspeakable ways. They are one of the wild gangs that escaped the Patriarch's control. I've not had to deal with them in decades, but last I did, they raided one of our caravans. If it was truly Los Payasos, then you have done us all a great service. Our stores are open to you at a discount. And here, take this as a talk. What would you like to know, my friends? The Bazaar will be waiting. Dr. Cold Cuts can cure what ails ya. Fill her up, Barkeep. Hot Somebody noodles. Somebody tell me they serve lemonade. Guns sanctified with blood. A laser pistol. Blood A laser pistol. Sanctified oh, I've by always guns. wanted one of these. Word spreads that your actions saved the bazaar. Or at least, certainly.
hot noodles. Ooh, you know what I want? A horchata. You're up, Bunky. Dr. Cold Cuts can cure what ails ya. Is it true? We had crazy clowns roaming the warrants? On the uh, pig, human aces. <laughs> this won't hurt a bit. Promise. Ah, the self-medicating sort. Sure, take a look. Ooh, we should get something hot. Hot noodles! Can we check out Piscitelli's shop next? I love those Might boots. Well. Where'd Please you get them? Up shotgun shells for your mother. I love oh, those boots. Please. Where'd you get them? Try not to pile on me all the time. Where'd black. you get them? You're looking... So, the beasties in the war and just a bunch of clowns. That's why I'm here. I love those boots. Where'd you get them? These People old things? I got dad. them for a steal at Talbot's Tannery. I'm doing great here. Thanks again. Hi, Rangers. Good to see you again. Uh, sure. Bye, Rangers. Thanks for visiting me. I love those boots. Where'd you get them? These old things? I got them for a steal at Talbot's Tannery. Bonum virum facile crederis, magnum lib audentis, fortuna juvat. Oh, guns, sanctified with blood, guns, sanctified with blood, blood, sanctified by guns.
Really need to ask Piscatelli to look at my gun. Ah, bugger keeps jamming. Really need to ask Piscatelli to look at my gun. Ah, bugger keeps jamming. shopping list a mile long. Felicitations. So I heard. You have shown both grace and charity. It will be my honor to work for your organization. Just give me some time to gather my things and I will see you there. Really need to ask Piscatelli to look at my gun. Bugger <sighs> keeps jamming. calling the November Cowboys. You reading me out there, Caballeros? You all recovered from that big old Colorado welcome the Dorseys gave you? Hmm. Maybe I'm a ranger. Switch over to 27.065 megahertz. All will be revealed. Howdy, rangers. Sorry about the clowning have to keep a low profile these days. This is your old pal Angie, otherwise known as Ranger Colonel Angela Death. Ha! Huh, somebody remembers me. What do you know? Figured my name would be stricken from the record after me and my crew pulled our vanishing act. Wasn't our intent when command sent us out here to reconnoiter, but well, things took an unexpected turn. I'll bet. We came out here for the same reason as you. 
because Command was hoping they could make an alliance with the Patriarch and get some, uh, foreign aid. Trouble was, the more we snooped around, the more we realized that good old Pappy Buchanan was a bloody-handed dictator that the Rangers shouldn't have nothing to do with. <sighs> Unfortunately, Command didn't want to hear it. Told us they were going to make the deal anyway. Too desperate to be particular. We took a vote, the squad and me, and decided that just wasn't the Ranger way. Instead, we made a pact to take Buchanan down and help Colorado become the home of freedom that Arizona could have been if the Rangers hadn't lost the Citadel to Matthias. Heaven, darling. The Archangel Gabriel's just bringing me another pina colada. Why do you think? We want you on our side, but not without seeing for yourself that Buchanan's a conniving shitbag. That's why I was called. There's a man you should talk to, locked up in an old bunker in Broadmoor Heights and guarded by mercs. So you may have to do a little shooting to get to him. But when you do, ask him about his beefs with the Patriarch. It'll open your eyes. His name is Ironclad Cordite, a warlord of the Eastern Plains and one goddamn tough son of a bitch. As to how you find him, I'm a little shaky on the details, but I'm told there's a hidden hatch on some monument at Buchanan Park in Broadmoor. And listen, when you do find him, bust him out of there and do what you can to keep him alive. He could help you with liberty later. Also, if you need more firepower, he's got a shotgun for a left arm. Gracias, compadres, and good luck. I'll be in touch. Dead red, over and out. Ladies and gentlemen, little information, um, I was trying to do the homestead now, then we go to Colorado Springs and we talk with the lady there because of the refugees and well, probably with the dude in Broadmoor Heights too. But after we talk to the mama person or whatever, we go and change some stuff in this in our citadel because I found out a way to import custom portraits. And then we're gonna go to the prison because I have a quest there anyway. Thanks for listening. <laughs> can't thank you enough for looking out for my family. This man's been torn apart. Oh, look. Wolverine tracks.
man's been torn apart. Oh, look. Wolverine tracks. Oh, Jesus.
Oi. Here they come. Fuck! You're ugly.
Oh, God. Who are you? You're not my family. You go away now. I'm sorting through dreams for my brother. I'm... Unless root beer flavored dreams for my brother. He's real nice. Randy. He always said we'd build us a place one day. Do you want some of these? They're my very last ones. The gummies say it's okay to chew on them. It's respectful. And they taste so sweet. Oh well, it's okay. More candies for Nita. Bad men came from the flatlands. Mummy and Daddy left. Then the doggies came for the candy and Mummy and Daddy and the bad men are gone, but... This poor girl. Oh, man. I... Don't shout at me! I'll come! I'll come! You won't melt like Mommy and Daddy, right? I didn't like it. Except for the jump ropes they made me. That was okay. I like those. Um, can I bring them? Yay! You're not actually so mean, are you? We can be friends. Do you want to be friends? I'll teach you how to talk to the moon, okay? But you have to be real quiet. Real quiet. Ugh. And you gotta eat a few dreams first. <laughs> Randy? Is that you? I don't know how to thank you, Rangers. My, my little sister, safe and sound and all in one piece, but... Wait. What about everyone else? What? Oh. Oh, I, I see. Need a... I'm so... Thank you, Rangers. I'll deal with this. It's a family matter, after all. And Nita... She deserves to be with her family. I'll... We'll speak again soon, at your base. Randy? I promise. I can't believe you brought Nita back to me, Rangers. Hey, say thanks, Nita. can't believe you brought Nita back to me, Rangers. Hey, say thanks, Nita. My brother's dreams are sorted. Got any candy? <laughs> Um, I'm sure she meant thanks. Uh, see you at base, Rangers. Mr. Fun Times here, with another strangling yarn. <laughs> this one about an astute student who learned how to love to kill. Once there was a little boy who loved having pets. Oh, yes, cats, dogs, squirrels, badgers. He loved them all. And he especially loved them in a nice big stew with a sprig of thyme. It wasn't until the boy met little... 
fucking rangers. Go on back to Arizona and let real police get shit done. Copy that. Toes on the way. Gardens. You mean where they grow these fine automobiles? What can I do for you? Anything for your vehicle. Have a look. Anyway, I didn't know they existed until my pa told me to go down to this old man's farm. He said he had a few cars we could take. What we didn't expect was 50 VWs in his garden, hanging around like shrubbery in a rich man's home. Damn waste of some good cars, but... So, long before you were born, Pacer, look at who's acting like he's all wise and shit. The hell do you want from Mama Carter? Maybe so. Where are those refugees now? Law keepers with a conscience? Well, shit. I wouldn't have guessed it. <laughs> nah, I owe you for keeping those refugees safe. Ain't nobody else around here who's willing to live to f So, uh, what's it gonna be, hmm? You know I was breaking the city's law, conspiring with smugglers and all that. You gonna haul me in? That's good. Real good. I'll start looking for some new smugglers. Well, you mean we'll start looking, right, Mama? No. I'm sending three of you boys to work for these rangers. You're damn good at fixing cars. I want you to help out around their garage. Whatever orders they give you, follow them. About time we got some mechanics at the new rangers. Take care of my boys. They're better mechanics than they are conversationalists. <laughs> and they'll keep your trucks roaring like mountain lions. Hope they'll be a big help to you. Bobby, Jesse, Jimmy, gather up your things. You're working for the Rangers now.
is a woman named La Perla, who claims to have business with the Rangers, but won't specify what it is to us. Ring any bells? Figured. We'll keep them outside the base for you to deal with in good time. Over and out. November, this is Ranger HQ. I have good news. There's some new gear here next time you stop by. It's a big improvement over the basic stuff we had before. But one last thing. The Patriarch commissioned a sculptor to make a statue of Vargas outside our HQ. He's nearly done, but he'd like to know who we want to dedicate this statue to. Good call, November. Making sure the Rangers know they'll be remembered if the worst comes to pass may boost camaraderie. I'll pass it along. Over and out. Here to serve.
Hey now, Rangers. It's good to see you. Y'all got a nice place here. Can't complain. There's a lot of space here. Lots of room for growth. If we work at it, this is gonna be one hell of a place. Might even be able to build some lofted bedrooms over the garage. Move mom over here. We'll see. Just setting up right now. I hope you don't mind the fact that we've added our own little touches to the place. Well, sure.
really coming together around here. Getting to be the kind of pl What? Sure. Slap Johnny's face. Man, we just fell about the place. If that chick don't want to know, forget her. Let me show you. Rangers. Fine. Just don't get shot up out there. Sorry to hear you killed that synth. They're not all bad, you know. What? Is that? I... Mm, I suppose there's no harm in trying again. I suppose. Uh, go ahead. Place to hide. Put me back. You are who you eat. Be afraid. Be very afraid. You. You want me to make another clone? What? Well, uh, well, I need. <laughs> huh? Thanks, Rangers. Please, Miss Hackett. There's no reason to get so angry. The hell they're in! My people didn't start that fight. One of your rangers started it, and now you're telling me we gotta be the ones to give up our- I'm just saying. Oh, Team November. I'm glad you're here. There was an altercation in the barracks. Nothing serious. No one was hurt. Some harsh words and a shove. Sergeant Gratsky's already put the recruit on latrine duty. A fair punishment. Yeah, well, this isn't the first time your recruits have had harsh words for us rangers. You need to... Gratsky's recruitment efforts have gone well, and HQ is filling up. More new rangers every day, which is great for our mission, but it also means we're running out of beds in the barracks. Rangers are having to sleep in sh This is leading to friction with Miss Hackett's people, who, as you know, were there first. Some of the new rangers don't understand this, and they think of them as, well, usually, it's just snide comments. 
But today, one of yours started shouting that we should be thrown out of our home before trying to pull Davy off his cot. Which is completely unacceptable behavior. Unfortunately, the problem is not going to go away if we ignore it. We need a solution before things explode. There have been plenty. Most of your rangers are all right with us, but there's more than a few who ain't. Calling us names, Miss Hackett. I'm embarrassed. Part of the oath we take as rangers is to protect the downtrodden. It hurts to hear that our recruits are failing to live up to that oath. Yeah? Well? We gotta nip this bullion in the bud. These people were here first, and we made a promise to them. Well, the warden here suggested we move into the brig. I suggested she shove that idea up her ass and leave us be. We were here first. We don't take up much space, and you said the barracks were ours when you first showed up. But things have changed since then, and they're not going to change back. If we're going to live side by side, we both have to be flexible. Shoot. Excellent idea. You'll have more space, and it will keep you away from the malcontents. What? <sighs> I guess you're right. I'll try to sell it to my people. And I appreciate your efforts to honor our deal under changing circumstances. Gonna like this. Today I have to. We are going to eat you. Jesus. It's absolutely marvelous being able to stretch my legs without invading another's personal space once more. High praise for Team November. Everyone seems to be most impressed with your efforts. You must be minding your manners very well. Rangers, manners are what separates man from bedraggled beasts. Let us both seek wisdom in the book of nauseatingly correct... Chapter 16, Pernicious Pleasantries, Line 33. It is of the utmost importance that manners come from deep within your being. For if those pleasantries are ever false... Your very soul will be consumed by your depraved rudeness to your fellow man. So you see, Rangers, manners are critically important in everything you do. I hope dearly that I have answered your question. Let us never speak of this again. Well, listen, of course, Rangers. It would be impolite not to share such tremendous deals.
<laughs> nice place they got here. Classy. <laughs> Except I think somebody pissed on the floor right here. What kind of disgusting animal do a thing like that? It's terrible. Huh. Why are my pets wet? A little food will smooth over the pain of that fight with the... No, not at all. There are so many wonderful people here who truly appreciate my cooking. Only that everybody really likes Team November. They can't stop talking about all the great things you've done for the Rangers. Only the best ingredients for my Rangers. <laughs> it's hard to bring Colorado together with a stomach full of bitter rations. What can I do for y'all? <laughs> you trying to get me in trouble with Daisy? The marshals are great. The best. Okay. Okay, that's... Well, we're fine. There. The problem with the marshals is... We don't work for the people of Colorado Springs. We work for the patriarch. And that means we're more enforcers than police. Which can lead to a certain, uh smugness among some of the troops. They know they're untouchable. They know citizen complaints aren't going to be listened to, mostly. So they think they can do whatever they want. So they're not loved, the marshals. Not trusted, either. Hey, you'd have to be a saint not to take advantage once in a while, and I'm no saint. I'll take a bribe here and there, if offered. But I'm not a shakedown artist like some guys are. I figure... If it's against the rules, but it ain't hurting nobody, why report it? As long as I get a cut, right? Well, you better watch yourself around Daisy. You're about one cross word away from her turning her back on you and not having anything to do with you. Time to puck her up and start kissing ass. Sure. Catch that victory kid soon before he hurts somebody. Guessing it's gonna be tough getting that Valor kid out of Denver in one piece, but it's gotta be done. Probably need to make some of them a little bit smaller. I forgot there's an HP bar. I'm gonna do that right when we are done with the episodes. Fiddle a little bit around and then basically do the tutorial video. For example, this one also need to move it a little bit up. To be honest, to me, it looks like there are 256, 256, right, in terms of pixels. And if you look really close, you can see that the HP bar is put on top of the portrait. So that means you literally have to adjust. You have to keep in mind when you do these pictures, you have to adjust them, adjust them, 
whatever and move them all a little bit to the top as you can see the other characters have above their HP but also a little spot from their faces here and stuff so I need to move that 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 and that they're all a tiny bit up but I'm gonna do that off stream off stream off stream no off video whatever um, because it requires me to close the game and restart the game and quickly adjust it in Photoshop but yeah that's not a big deal but yeah I would say thanks for watching even though I'm not supposed to say that anyway see you later <laughs>